Cancer, what's up, big baby? Let's get into this reading. For anybody that's in twin flame um, or soul flame on this channel, soul flame, soul flame, soul flame. I just say twin flame because that's what everybody uses hearing, but soul flame on this channel. Anybody in soul flame separation, baby, let me tell you something. Don't fall for that bullshit. This separation is supposed to be a part of the soul flame journey because it's not. When I first started researching that when I was 18 years old, I didn't want no parts of it. And the only reason I didn't want no parts of it, it sounded like a beautiful thing outside of the separation period that sounded painful and weird as a motherfucker, right? I'm like, oh, I'm cool on that shit. You know what I'm saying? So when my soul flame came along, I wasn't thinking nothing about no motherfucking twin flame because I was far removed from that shit. I did a, a Tesla 369 ritual on um, somebody that would help me run my business somebody that i could you know go into the hereafter with and i was gonna go to the grave with me i was done i don't want to be bothered with i'm done okay you know when you had that i'm done conversation with god i had that done conversation so my intentions were set my my precision was on point you know what i'm saying i didn't have no doubt in my mind i did the ritual work in like Shit. I know he came in less than a year. He showed up in less than a year. I know that. And for me to say yes to seeing him was something else. Because I don't say yes. I don't. Especially not with some random person asking me out. I usually do not say yes. Motherfuckers, I used to date somebody normal. You know? On some real shit. Surrender your idea that you can fix someone. You gotta be careful with these cards if you read tarot. Because they, they coming in these cards making them say stuff so that you can tell your viewing your viewers some shit that ain't true. So you just really like this, surrender the silence. You know, be quiet, hurt and pain, you know, hurt and silence. Don't say nothing about it. Don't talk about it no more. We said shut up, can of hoes. Bitch, who you talking to? Why don't you come from behind that curtain, Wizard of Oz ass bitch? Motherfucker be talking shit in a safe place, I swear to God. Speak your truth, cancer. That hand shit will give you cancer. On some real shit. That's where disease come from. Surrender your desire to control people. Being overly controlling can sabotage relationships to more effectively achieve your, achieve your goals. Back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room. Now, this is a witch. This is not for you. Back off. If you're in separation, ain't you always been backed off? Backed up in a corner, backed off or candy shit. Back door like a motherfucker, bitch. Go ahead. Oh. Whoever breathing on my motherfucking uh channel. Surrender to rest and sleep. To prevent burnout, slow down, honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to renew to rejuvenate your mind, body, and spirit. Surrender negative thinking. You have control over your thoughts. When negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmations. Keep it positive. Go overly positive. But if you feel like getting negative, get negative. Don't don't uh, pigeonhole yourself. Because you've been pigeonholing up, waiting in separation, waiting in pain, being humiliated on these sites, being humiliated on tarot readings, being humiliated a friend of your family and friends if you came into union with a person and you knew that was your person and all of a sudden the shit went to hell and now everybody talking about they told you so if they don't say it you can kind of feel it can of shit surrender to effortlessness stop pushing so hard the art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river i don't like that part but do surrender to effortlessness don't put so many rules and regulations on yourself to how, of how to feel. Feel what you feel. Deal how you deal. If you want to post all day about a twin flame or a man or whatever, do what you do. If you want to post 30,000 selfies, post 30,000 selfies. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to tell you what the fuck you're doing, how to do it. Bitch, you do it. Keep coming through, no. 
No, what, bitch? Y'all gotta watch that movie, The Conjuring. The second one. In order to cast out the demon, you gotta know their name. Y'all don't know a lot of these motherfuckers' names. But if you do know the name of the bitch that got witchcraft on you, that feel like your divine mate is theirs, or his divine mate is theirs, call them motherfuckers out by name as much as you need to and tell them to get the fuck on. That's when it dissolved. Weak ass energy, but just tearing up the house, possessing children. And it was based on a true story. She had to find the name of the demon in the Bible. Once she found the name, it blew up. Nothing to it came to shit. Transformation. But they always had that playing bully and shit. Corny as a motherfucker. Detach and move on. Yeah, detach, but don't move on if you want your person. Trust your intuition. You dating other people and trying to get out here and just ain't working, sit still and deal with what you need to deal with and call your person back in. I know it's a drag. Sometimes you got to let it part that shit because it just be too much. And the person that you in separation with need to put in just as much effort as you do. While they be sitting up cross-watching all the motherfucking time, acting weird like the bitch that got them in a misery situation. Talk to your guides. If you can't get no sleep, talk to your guys until you can fall asleep. Or talk to your God if he's not too busy. Guides and angels and stuff is there when God be too busy. Here's how I look at it. Something going to be in a witch's tarot. Adventure and play. Yes. Transformation is a sight like a motherfucker. Y'all deserve all the good that's coming to y'all because this shit has been hectic as fuck. I ain't never dealt with no shit like this in my life with the worst motherfucker. And I had one of the worst motherfuckers. I didn't have one. He just thought he had me. Open up your heart. Don't close your heart off. Your misfortune, your bad luck, all that shit is witchcraft. All of it. All of this. Witchcraft. All of this. Witchcraft. Can't take it. Can't catch a break. And the only sense of peace you found was when you was with your divine mate because you just done been through so much in your life. And then here we go again, candy shit. Now you looking at him as phony, silly, flighty, ungrounded, easily distracted. You know what I'm saying? You feel like he a compulsive liar. He a karmic now. All that shit. No, that's who he with. So that's why you picking that shit up. And he need to get up. Take up his bed and walk like a motherfucker. And quit being a bitch. Queen of Pentacles energy. Some of y'all waiting on the Queen of Pentacles energy. Or gonna reunite with a Queen of Pentacles energy or a Queen of Swords energy, whether you male or female, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Leave me on the Ten of Swords. Talk to y'all guys. Get off the cell phone. Talk to y'all guys. Witchcraft. Some of y'all got heavy witchcraft being done on y'all, causing y'all to go into some form of illusions. We feel like y'all energy scattered, like y'all gotta ground y'all energy. Is be feeling loopy as fuck. You really have to wear protective energy. Protective energy, you really do. You see these evil eye braces? I gotta go back in here and put the black dots back in here because some of them don't wore off. But the black dots is what uh, holds the evil. It does. It's like sending it to the cosmos. Nothingness. That little black dot is powerful than a motherfucker. Don't sleep on Hindus. Anything that come out of India like that, baby, it's on and popping. Don't take nothing like it's just, you know, a piece of jewelry or you wearing it for whatever the fuck. Yeah, they doing money magic. They still doing that shit. Causing towers. If y'all money fucked up, y'all they still working it. If y'all in court for some shit y'all ain't do, or shit just going haywire, you just seem like everything you doing is like something where you got to be extra responsible, but you already been responsible. But now you in court all the time. Your license, you lose your license. You checking your pocket for fucking credit cards. You losing credit cards. You losing this. Now you got to go over here to court for this. 
Now you gotta go over here because the property done got fucked up. If you do, if you got some of y'all own properties, just shit happening. Where it's it just out of nowhere. This when you know fucking chaos magic is being worked. That's what causes towers. I pray some of these motherfuckers being watched and go to prison. I pray. Whoever doing it. I don't even want to figure out what the key is doing. It's like generational shit. To trap me in for money. And they ain't even getting shit with Patty the Pentacle money. Where they once was getting 10 of Pentacles money. Like on them Lifetime movies and all. That shit did. They just getting Page of Pentacles money. But they hurting people like a motherfucker. I mean, hurting them. And some of these motherfuckers too. Uh, cold hearted to feel the hurt. You know what I'm saying? They just further mask it with stuff. That's why they be needing more money. And then they want you to stop talking about it. If you stop doing it, then maybe I won't have nothing to talk about, bitch. Some of y'all got extensive trauma for this from this journey. 1113 was on the clock. Some of y'all make it dealing with a Capricorn energy. Views. They stay viewing. You read Tarot, baby? They stay viewing. And some of y'all done blocked y'all heart off. Don't do that. Don't do that. Block it off for of what? You ain't did shit. I know. Y'all just tired. I am too, but what the fuck can you do? This divine masculine. Sitting up in the five of cups. Just tired. This divine masculine and this divine feminine that's in separation. Tired as a motherfucker. Because somebody is inflicting this shit on you. What gives them the right? If somebody want to go, you let them go. Motherfuckers with normal motherfucking minds don't sit up holding nobody. If a person don't want to be with you, you release that person to go. When it becomes a sense of ownership with a motherfucker that bitch you crazy and that's kidnapping like a motherfucker. And like, some of y'all got Virgo in y'all trying to y'all dealing with a Virgo energy. It came up again. And some of y'all do read tarot. They want to be like y'all. Some of these motherfuckers just got any because they don't know where they have to do with their motherfucking life to try to be like somebody else instead of finding out what the fuck their purpose is in life. Sometimes your purpose is to be a Walmart greeter, bitch, and not to pick up no tarot cards. What's wrong with that? the shit that I was channeling on these cards. Some of these channels are old, but they let me see. Give your soul flame space. If in union, give them space for what? You've been in separation. What kind of space they need? They ain't calling you. You ain't talk to them. You're close to making union. And this will fuck with your head too, because they never call. So then it becomes, what kind of game is you playing? But they be sitting up in somebody's breast like this. Some weird bitch wanting to play um, sun and suck on their titties all day. Weird, I know. And then they be talking to them, telling them all their business, and then they use their business against them to further bind their stupid ass. Some divine masculines done got into the magic in order to combat it. You better do something. Fight for your right to stay alive instead of being made somebody's bitch boy. Look how phony. Look how phony. Naked and looking stupid. When they really want to be like this with you, Divine Fem, the two of cups, not the fucking three of pentacles, where it's always about money. What they got to do with a, a fucking money? It's fake. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, they got page of pentacles money. That's three of pentacles, right? It's little money. Just tired. I beg. Six of Swords, remembering what y'all used to do all the time. But they be wanting to do it too. What y'all you what you used to do with her? What y'all used to be doing? And they'll tell them too. Why? I don't know. You know, I don't know. What <laughs> tell them big shit? Nothing. The Macarena. Sometimes we just don't let you slide, bitch. Fuck out of here. 
But y'all used to be dealing with it. What is the fuck I would do? What the fuck is happening? No class. I don't care. How about that? What y'all used to be doing? Fake kissing it? If anything, I'm going to make a joke out there. Oh, shit. A win win outcome is a forecast. So look at the next uh, Libra moon. The next time the moon is in Libra, no matter what kind of moon, look for a win win outcome. Put it in your phone. So that shit manifest if you want it, you know. Ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load. Working too many hours, trying too hard to please others. You don't have no choice. It ain't even a matter of trying to please others. It's what has to be done when you're a single mother or a single father or you just on your own. You got to handle the business because the business ain't going to handle itself. Am I correct? You know, people please and shit. You're trying to people please the bill collector so they don't cut that shit off. The Empress Archangel Gabriel. Time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded, luxurious, or ab abundant resources. Somebody that's a Pisces wants y'all to contemplate like it's almost a threat. Like, think before you think you're about to make a move or say something about me, kind of thing. Think before you talk. Think before you speak. Whoever they talking to, I do not know divine femme, divine masculine, because they sure the fuck ain't talking to me. I say what the fuck I want to say. If you don't want to be on this channel, get the fuck off of here, because you ain't YouTube, bitch. You think you're trying to play what the fuck you going to do and say next with your plot, man. Tell me what the fuck to do. We wouldn't even be having these conversations if motherfuckers knew how to not touch Allah's resources doing funny business. Like I said before I started my channel, I'm trying to get to the point, yoke my head again and God gonna yoke your motherfucking brain out your motherfucking skull, bitch. Get the fuck off my channel. Anyway, I said that I wanted a channel where I'm talking about what color dresses your bridesmaids. Like predicting some happy shit, you know. Not all the doom and gloom all the fucking time. And I'm determined to get there. My lines, grace, and help. Information. Mashallah. Ain't nobody but my weird ass sperm, dead sperm, the protein enzyme, the shadows on feet lurking around, ain't got nothing to do with his life. He was born to be my enemy, that's all he know. Everybody thinking it was some type of cute twin flame, like, no, that nigga don't even have a soul, he don't know where it's at. Real talk. Trauma Nagma. Ooh, look at that. That's how that demon looked the other day when I was watching Conjure <laughs> 3 or 2. I gotta watch 3. You see that? We're gonna see what that's about. Because that's the type of energy y'all dealing with, too. You can use these type of deities to work for you. You know? Their whole thing is treat them kind. But if you want to use them and don't got nothing to pay them, you see how she holding this offering in her hand? That's where they fuck up at. And they'll consume their motherfucking ass and they won't know their ass from a hole in the wall. But that there be a lot of whack part. You know what I'm saying? Do my body. Let's see. Mm. I searched for this deck. I couldn't find it. I found it. I was like, yes. So I'm going to use it. I feel like it has some important messages in here. What is that on the six? Wrathful Black Mother. Divine Feminine Wisdom. Wrathful Black Mother. Divine Feminine Wisdom. And Kills Ego. So if y'all ass is a mother, 
I say black come from Cosmos, so any color, but if you black, you get some juicy juice with that. You can call it on the energy of Tromo Nagma. Tromo. Tromo Nagma. And kill some egos, you know. Offer up. They look like they got. What the fuck she got on that plate? Yams or something. Offer up something good, you know. And you ain't got to do it no more. Hit it one time and go on about your business. Because there ain't you. What is that? Dumavati is crow, shadows, ugly, unattractive, fear, black widow. Crow, death, shadows. We already know they got plenty of them. They ugly inside and out. Even if they was once pretty, they now unattractive because that darkness takes over your ass. And once you start touching black magic, you cannot stop touching it. It's just like when you lose weight, when you got to keep working out or you're going to gain that weight back. That's how the fuck it is with them. They got to keep doing it. They're going to lose their motherfucking mind. And that darkness starts showing. It'll show up on their lips if they try to hide that shit. It'll show up in their eyes. Their ass start getting dingy looking. Motherfucking teeth start looking all crazy like they chew on rocks or their teeth be falling out. Motherfuckers be fucked up for real. You just got to look at their ass for what it is. They become unattractive when they once were attractive because they can't get to no more light. All they do is work dark and hurl shadows. They full of fear. Like I said, the little motherfucking demon that was on that movie. And they black widows. So they let you know what they be doing. Black widows. They be killing men putting shit in their food. It's black, it's, it's black widow male spiders too. I think they just smaller than the female black widows. So it's men that kill women like that too. Mm -hmm. All right, Cancer. I pray this helps somebody. You want to work with the energy of trauma, nagmo. Okay? Offer it up. Don't touch it no more. Kill a few egos. Doom a body. That's dealing with black widows, shadows, that kind of stuff. If you got a nose ring in your um, nose, maybe switch it out to pull on her energy a little bit. You know, just to pay homage to this energy. You ain't got to offer her up no food. But she do got a nose ring in her nose. You want to do a little something like that? You could do that. Or get some, get a skull or something. You know, wear a skull t-shirt or something to call on it. Just, you know, a little. You don't need much. Just a little. Because you ain't evil. You know what I'm saying? And neither are these energies. They just be sick of the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It be like a good energy going bad because they sick of you calling on them to do evil work. So since you want to keep on calling me to do this, then this is what the fuck is going to be. Now what you going to give me? Oh, nothing? Okay. Well, I'm about to overtake your body. Then they start looking like this. Or dark like this when they was once light. Real talk. If you're feeling the vibe, please like, share, and subscribe. Love and like.